Hey, what's good y'all, it's Mr. Cruz here, back with another video. Uh, today, I wanted to tell you guys about my journey uh, with Reason. Um, so, on the cusp of Reason 11 coming out, which I think it's not next week, but the week after, um, I just kinda wanted to talk about uh, how I kinda came to land on Reason as my doll, uh, and how, you know, my experiences with other dolls and mainly why I decided to stick with Reason and why did I decided to go back to it when it was all said and done. Well, for starters, um, I have been making music since I was about, uh, let me see, 15, 14 years old. Um, I didn't use a doll until I was in my six, well, I was 16. So I was about high school age um, when I actually started using a doll and I started using a doll called Hip Hop EJ. Uh, and it was a program that a friend of mine had. He, um, I used to go to his house and record, and that's the program that he had. So I just borrowed the disc from him, and then I installed it on my computer, and then I was able to make beats myself. Uh, the thing about it, it was super limited. It was like, back then, even FL Studio, Fruity Loops, back when it was, even Fruity Loops was pretty limited. Like this thing was even more limited than what Fruity Loops was. Uh, and so I did that, and I had that DAW for a while. I, don't, I wouldn't even call it a DAW because well, I guess you could because you could make beats in it and you could record. So I guess it it functioned, you know, it did those two things. Um, but years later, I ended up getting uh, a Roland Phantom. And that was what I really started to learn about making beats on. Uh, after that, I had that Phantom for, man, I had it for years. I really wanted to get a Triton, but Tritons were too expensive. And I had bought this Phantom used from some guy who was working at Sam Ash at the time. Uh, so I worked all summer. Um, saved up my money uh, I, I worked up all summer up north with my dad i uh, came back down to florida and called the guy up I was like yo if you still got it like i got cash with me right now like let's meet up uh and then i used that thing for maybe two weeks before i realized like like man i don't know how to program the drums in this thing so i had to go back to sam ash and tell him like yo i need you like just to take five minutes and teach me how to do these things that i really want to know want to know how to do um so that Phantom Man, that thing was awesome. Um, and I learned a whole lot, especially about sampling. And I'll say this, Reason, Logic, uh, FL Studio, Pro Tools, the, the sampling capability and the way that you could cut and manipulate samples on the spot, like nothing has been better than that Roland Phantom when I used it, man. Like that thing was just so super efficient when it came to chopping up samples. Um, I miss it. Even if it was just for the sake of chopping samples, I wish I still had it. I might get another one eventually, who knows? Um, but then uh, I, my friend, he he made beats in GarageBand um, and Cubase. And I knew that if you had a MacBook, that MacBooks came with GarageBand and that you can make beats in GarageBand. So I saved up some money. I think it was like from a tax refund. Uh, and I bought myself a MacBook and it was a super old one. And I wish I didn't listen to this uh, to this friend of mine who said, like, as I'm sitting there, like looking for him, I had, um, I had asked her, I was like, Hey, well, which one do you think would be good and whatnot? Like what, what specs does your hat yours have? And I think I had landed on one that was like, Oh, well, this one has like, you know, 300 gigs. And she had said like, well, are you really going to use all 300 gigs? Yes. Yes. I like ran through that thing in like an instant. Um, so I got a MacBook and I got GarageBand. Um, GarageBand was dope. And to me, it opened up a whole wide world of being able to make beats and music production and recording. Uh, so a friend of mine, I had talked to him and told him that I was using GarageBand. And he was like, bro, like you need something better. Like, you know, uh, he worked at a church. He was like, yo, at my church, we have reason. So like, I'll just come by your house and I'll bring you like the, the, the CD so you can install it. And I don't remember what it was at the time. Cause I don't think that I had to like do any kind of online verification or registration or anything like that. But he had said something along the lines, like make sure that you don't do this or blank or whatever it was, um, because it's still registered to under the church name. Um, so they, he gave me reason four, and that's kind of how I got introduced with reason. And I think the night that I had it, I made like four beats. Guess what? They was all trash. Um, I didn't know anything about mixing and stuff like that. But to me, the, the big thing that I really loved about it is for one unlimited tracks, because up until then, um, working in hip hop EJ, you could only use a couple of tracks at a time. Um, 
with my Roland Phantom, you could only record up to, I want to say it was like eight or 16. Um, and then I knew that when I went into a DAW that gave me unlimited tracks that like, yo, I was going to go ham and reason had unlimited tracks. So I was, man, I was loading up my beats. Little did I know, right? 16 year old. No, I wasn't 16 at that time. Uh, I was in my twenties, 20 year old hobby. 16 tracks is way more than enough to make a banger, bro. Like you don't need 16 track. You don't need to use all 16 tracks. Wish I would have told myself that back then. I wish I would have known that. Um, but I I loved Reason. A big thing was it was the visual appeal to me, like sitting down and opening Reason and like looking through like the the rack modules and um, re realigning the cables and connecting this to that and seeing what works. Um, that was musically inspiring to me. So uh, I stuck with Reason for a long, long time. Uh, I think I even hooked up. Uh, my friend with that same CD and he had reason. So then like we were bounced sessions back and forth and he kind of hated it because I think at the time he was working in Cubase or logic. I can't remember which one. I think it was logic by this time. Um, he was working in logic and he was like, yo, logic is just way much better. So much more better and blah, blah, blah. Like reason is like a child's toy. Like you're never going to get like high level quality uh, sounds or, you know, compositions working in reason. Like you need a, a real doll. And to some extent at that time, he was right. Um, Cause reason for looking back on it now, like reason for was extremely limited because like you couldn't record audio back then. So to me, that kind of sucked because one of the things that I really wanted was um, I was in this mindset back when I was in my early twenties, like trying to record music in my, in, in my bedroom and in the bathroom um, is that I wanted to be able to do everything myself from my own home. Like I, I already made beats, so that's dope. All right, uh, I already rapped and wrote, so there, I couldn't record. So to me, that was a huge, huge blow to my you know, workflow and my process. Um, so I think at the time I was recording in GarageBand and then bouncing those files, um, or no, I was bouncing my beats and then putting them in GarageBand and then recording in GarageBand. Um, so some time went on, uh, another friend at a different church, I was talking to him and he had mentioned to me how, oh, like, well, we use logic at the, at the church. Um, he's like, man, I could hook you up with my actually, wait, no, before that I had jumped onto reason five or six. I can't quite remember which one, but whichever one introduced Kong drum designer, um, I had gotten that one and I got, I want to say, I think I got like a cracked version of it because I didn't have enough money to pay for the upgrade at the time. So, and I get like the upgrades are only like a hundred and some odd dollars, but like, I ain't have it at the time. Your boy was broke. Your boy still is broke. So, um, I, I jumped up and I love the Kong drum designer, man. Like that thing was awesome. Um, it was a great toy to play with initially and like learning all the ins and outs of it. Um, but then eventually I went back, uh, no, I, I didn't go back, but like a friend of mine had introduced me to, uh, to logic and I guess he had some code or whatever that allowed me to go into his account on the, I, the, the Apple store, or iTunes store, um, and download it. So he, with it, I got, uh, logic, I got motion five and I got final cut pro. And that was amazing. Like having all of those things and little that I know that I would not use those and I would not need them until several years later, but still, um, I was excited to have logic and man, logic was awesome. I was like head over heels with it. The only problem that I had is like having to relearn all those key commands and all my little shortcuts and stuff like that. Um, to me, logic was super duper confusing. It was far more confusing than, than reason was. Um, but then that's probably why at the time reason was kind of looked at as like, uh, and, and inferior compared to other dogs. Um, so I worked in logic for several years um, and I got pretty good at it, pretty proficient. Uh, the, the big appeal to it was that now my friend who has also been working in logic, like now, you know, I just had to get the same plugins that he had and we were able to bounce files back and forth to each other. Um, and again, at this time, at this time, uh, reason still didn't have plugin capabilities. Uh, so eventually uh, reason seven, no reason six had come out and with reason six, you could record audio into it. So I was like, yo, that's dope bet. I'm all about it. Like I can go back to the workflow and the process that was simplest for me. Um, 
So I bought it and turns out like the company that had bought it from the distributor, they was like, hey, well, we ran out of it. So we're going to send you the next one up for free. So I was able to get Reason 7, which was like the latest version of it. And that was like the first time in my entire experience of working in music that I had a doll that was like the newest one out. Like I wasn't stuck on some older version because I couldn't upgrade or couldn't afford the upgrade. So I got Reason 7 um, and that was a game changer. Like I think I recorded like two or three albums now that i had the capabilities to record audio into um into my doll like right into the session that i was building my beat around uh so i went back to reason and the huge pun intended the big reason why i went back to it was because the re-drum um drum machine like to me that thing was amazing um, it was so simple it was super efficient i was able to work in it quickly and i loved logic but to me, Ultra Beat just fell short when it came to uh, programming drums the way that Redrum is capable of. And even though, and I, this is kind of the crazy thing about it is because Ultra Beat has far more customization, right? There's way more that you could do with your drum sounds in Ultra Beat than you can do in regions in reasons redrum but the thing is that redrum because it was limited as far as like what you could do it inspired me and encouraged me to one uh to pick better sounds right because once i drop it in there there's little that i could do to to manipulate or improve the sound so i had to pick high quality sounds uh and the other thing is because it was limited uh it had to like i'm the one who had to kind of pick up the slack and be better i had to be better than this this drum machine module um when it came to making my beats because there's only so much that the module could do that i could you know later on improve on um but i mean it worked for me and like using a little sequencer and stuff like that. I mean, you guys have seen my video on like trap hi-hat tutorials. Like that was, that saved me so much time when it came to like programming drums. Um, so then that's kind of where I am now. And obviously if you guys have seen my other video talking about reason 11, a lot of stuff is up in the air. Um, oh, and also the capabilities of getting plugins, right? Actually, I didn't talk about that yet because I'm on reason 10 now. So uh, I stuck with reason seven for a number of years and I kind of ignored all the updates and, you know, new versions and whatnot until um, I want to say it was about last year or the year before uh, when I then made the jump to upgrade to reason 10 because now I could use plugins. And then that opened up a whole new door because one thing I hated and I mean, you guys can argue with me if you want. Um, everybody has their opinion, but since I got to work in logic, the effects that we have in reason are way are, are not, let's just say logics effects, like their stock plugins are superior to reasons like their EQ, their reverb, their delay, like all of that stuff, their stuff was so much better, uh, than what we have in reason. Like the M class EQ to me, that thing is trash. Like. I never use it because it's just not very good. Um, so when I got to have plugins, like, man, I bought stuff from Neutron. Now I got Isotope. Now I got some wave plugins, um, things that are, I notice. I mean, not everybody's going to say that because you can get a great sound just from using stock plugins. Um, but I feel like my sound quality has improved now that I'm able to go and use third party DAWs or third party plugins. Um, so with reason 11 coming out soon, um, who knows what's going to happen? Um, not say who knows, but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I'll probably, if I do, if, or when I do upgrade, which I probably will upgrade, uh, I'm definitely going to wait a while, maybe a couple of months just to kind of see, um, see how it goes and hopefully see if they, you know, throw in any more upgrades or any more features. Um, cause it's i'd be lying if i said i wasn't nervous that um reason may very well you know put their focus into the daw into the plugin because there's no doubt in my mind that the reason 11 plugin is going to be hot like that thing is going to sell like hot cakes and a lot of people are going to start using it um and then you know the reason studio name is going to be back on people's on people's mouths um but uh, it just kind of raises a lot of concerns for me, who is a core reason user, like reason is the only DAW that I use. Um, actually, that's a lot because I use logic because I got to bounce things to MP3. Um, but still, um, 
I love Reason. I'm a loyal Reason fanboy, and I'll I'll stick with it for as long as I can. Um, if it comes down to moving to another doll, um, to be honest, out of convenience, I would either pick Logic or FL Studio. Um, I got a really good friend who makes awesome music who uses Logic, and I've got a really good friend who's awesome that uses FL Studio. So being able to kind of have the same DAW that either one of them has to be able to collaborate would be an awesome thing. But I'm hoping that's not the case, right? I'm really pulling for Reason Studios and that they kind of they kind of give us what what we're asking for and that they kind of continue to build on the Reason Studios name. And hopefully the change in the name of Reason Studios kind of brings some, you know, new branding and new ideas and uh, uh, just a, a overall better future for not just Reason Studios in itself, but for those who are core users of the DAW. Uh, but anyways, that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, let me know in the comments below uh, what reason did you guys start out with, um, especially if you're a Reason user or if you're any kind of DAW user, like which version of FL Studio or Logic did you uh, kind of start out with? Fun fact, I'm still on like the Logic from like two or three versions ago because when they upgraded to include like the feature that has the touch bar um my version got stuck like i can't upgrade it anymore because um i'm on still on on my mac i'm still on sierra i say i'm on mac and if you have logic you're using a mac but anyways that's me um anyways yeah let me know in the ver in the comments below what versions of DAWs did you guys first start out with so for me it will say hip hop ej <laughs> yeah, as trashy of a program as that was um but anyways looking forward to hearing from you guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe got some more videos coming soon it's your boy up mr cruz out